I look like a hobo in this video. I'm sorry. So, um, I just kind of wanted to make like a quick vlog and let you guys know about what's going on with me and things. One of the things I really do in my videos a whole lot is that, okay, I talk about a whole lot of stuff and when I'm editing it, I always forget the fact that I didn't record some points that I really wanted to say, so it really, really annoys me. And my mind is really, really scattered right now. So, I have a list of things. They're, they're not, it's not a script, it's just bullets. And that's, that's Melania's man-eater. I love him. Um, first order of business, music. I was thinking of, um, uh, I was thinking kind of doing kind of sort of like a series of like the music that I listen to, because I listen to a lot of different types of music and um, I like sh I like sharing it with other people, and I like hearing what other people listen to. You know, just broaden our musical horizons together. I kind of don't want to do like one video completely dedicated to that because I don't think that's a vlog, and that's more of an entertainment sort of thing. So maybe I'll just do it kind of um, a sideline kind of thing, like right before I leave after I make a vlog or something, like five downloads of the week or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Next order of business, Twitter. What the hell is Twitter? I hear people talk about it a whole lot and I don't know what that is. And I see people have Twitter profiles or whatever. Um, I, I talked to my friend about it. He said it's just like Facebook, just either with statuses or without the statuses or just the statuses or something like that. And it's been said that Twitter is gonna replace Facebook in a couple of years as it means to popularity. So I want to ask, what is that? If I see some of you I have Twitter things. What is the point of having a Twitter? Third order of business. You ever, if you haven't noticed, I wear a hat in all of my videos, like all of them. And um, I live in my hats actually. Like I, I sleep in a scarf and then when I wake up, I take the scarf off and put a hat back on. I saw the videos of Rustic Beauty and basically she um, talks about natural hair and African American hair and it will grow very long if you take care of it and she like smashes his myths about black hair quote unquote and it's just um seeing her videos kind of inspired me to take better care of my hair because I'm trying to grow up my hair and I've just been kind of like down with it because I'm really annoyed with it so basically I'm more inspired to you know take better care and have it get longer to uh, how long I want it you know how long I want my hair you guys yeah, right there I'm not joking. My mom did it, my grandmother did it, my great-grandmother did it, I wanna do it. And since springtime is about to come up, I think it'll be the best time to do it, considering how it's gonna be a little too hot to wear a hat, and I kinda need to wash my hats. <laughs> yeah, I need to wash them and, you know, just give them a rest for a little bit. Fourth order of business. Guess what happened the other day? Um, so I think it was either yesterday, no, I don't think it was yesterday, it was the day before yesterday, I think. Um, I was, I think I was editing a video or something, and then I was looking at my friend activity, and Brit five five nine seven six three four five uploaded a video. I'm like, oh, she uploaded a video. I haven't seen her in forever. I got a shout out, yay! I was very excited. I got I have my first shout out. I'm very excited about that. Brittany, I love you. Let's get married. Seriously, we will play Love the World at our ceremony. Computer City at our reception, Chocolate Disco. You're like the only person that I know, besides my awesome sauce aunt, that likes perfume. Like, I think that's awesome. And I was watching one of your videos and the Polyrhythm was one of the background music. And I was like, why was I just listening to that to, I was just listening to that on my iPod last week. I was like, what? That's really cool. Thank you, thank you a lot. Speaking of my Floridian subscribers, um, it was Saturday morning, I fell asleep in front of Toshiba and I woke up and I was watching YouTube and then I was watching the Luke and Nora story and all of a sudden I see that I have two messages in my inbox. So I go and I check and I had five comments. XY Power Pop, yay! He finally came out of the darkness after like two weeks to like and he commented on my videos. Oh, that was great. That was, that was really great. You really made my morning with those comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you a lot. Speaking of coming out, um, here's something I really like wanted to ask you guys about, about, you know, um, coming out videos. I don't really want to do one. 
Like I really, I don't. Like <laughs> I don't. Um, because and I have reasons. It's because like, okay, I'm a gay vlogger. I'm gonna make a video about coming out. That is so original. Like that's so original. Like okay, not to say that gay vloggers who do coming out videos are unoriginal because that's not that it is original because it's an important topic that needs to be talked spoken about. But me personally, I don't know. I don't think my coming out story is really all that interesting or all that big or worth anything. But considering the whole vision of gays in society, period, generally is not accepted. So I think that any, any form of coming out is a triumph and a means of progress for our community in and of itself. So I think that like, like, you know, like any coming out, no matter how small, you know, even just coming out to yourself is just one step towards acceptance from our, from our communities or whatever. So I think given that fact, I think I, maybe I should do one. I don't know. Um, I'm, what did you guys think? Like, do you think I should make one? And I kind of don't want to be, you know, self-righteous with it. Like, I don't want to like feel like I'm taking some person by the arm and twisting it and saying come out come out come out because you know people should come out in their own time or whatever and you know sometimes it might be better for some people to stay in the closet than to come out because there's pros and cons of both sides of the fence i don't know there's just things i don't know maybe i should make one if i do make one it was because somebody said i should make one so if you think i should make one um yeah I got two new subscribers. I got two new ones. One of them was X Limbs, um, and then the other one was Mysterious Blogmaster. He subscribed to my videos. Thank you. Next order of business. Um, basically, um, school hasn't been boring. I just have like things I have to do. I have, I have to read this book called The Dog Eaters by Jessica Hagedorn or Hagedorn. For my literature and identity class, hopefully it'll be better than Loving the Warriors. That crap. And I have, and I have a whole section of philosophy to read. I'm very excited about doing that. I'm gonna sit down and just like dedicate like six hours to reading philosophy. Also, um, I wanted to make a video about goals, and because I did make an um New Year's resolution thing or whatever, and clearly. To say, for me, to say that a New Year's resolution, like to give something the label of a New Year's resolution, is basically just like to put a freaking chain on it just for it to fail, you know? And yeah, I always forget them, and you know, it's just a bad thing like to give it the label of New Year's resolution for me. So I'll, I would like to say, these are just some goals that I want to achieve. And, um,. I think I wanted to make um, a video talking about the things I want to do and then I'll make a video in response to it to see if I've, you know, worked towards it or I've accomplished it or whatever. Yeah, what do you guys think about that? Um, and another thing I wanted to ask was, um, rituals. Do you guys have, like, if you're a vlogger, do you have any sort of, like, thing that you do before you make a video? Me? I go into the bathroom and I brush my teeth and I check my nose for boogers. Cause that's, th that's embarrassing. I don't, <laughs> like, that's like the only thing that I really, really do. Cause if you don't notice, I look like a freaking hobo at the moment. And I'm sorry that I look like a hobo in this video. I need to shave this itchy mess. This is disgusting, this shit is trash. I don't like this at all. Don't be mad at me. I think that's all I really had to say. Um, yeah. XY Pop Up, you made my morning. That was really, really great to see all those comments. Glad to know that you didn't forget about me and all of your a, a thousand and two hundred subscriber awesomeness. See you guys later.